Amber, I am loving your new accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun. Honestly, I'm so glad that you joined our sorority, Emily. I'm so glad you let me join. No problem. I saw huge potential. <laughs> Thanks. Speaking about huge, I saw you in a class in a new bra. Oh. Girl, they were look massive. <laughs> oh my god. This is the first time I've worn a push-up bra. If my parents ever found out, they would kill me. Oh, that's so sad. Your parents are so strict, even though you're 19 now. I know. They're so annoying. I noticed James checking you out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, are you going to tell me what are you guys spoke about after class? He asked me out. Whoa! <laughs> after five months? Finally! <laughs> what is the push-up? Oh, definitely. <laughs> okay. Wow, what did he say? He started off by saying, Oh, you look so different today. <laughs> <laughs> Boys are such pigs. I know, I just noticed. But he seems sweet. So, when is your date? This weekend, Saturday. Ah! <laughs> you should flag on him. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> love it when you play them. But what if he <sighs> Then he's not worth it. Anyways, I have something more fun to do for us on this weekend. What's that? Scott's older cousin is coming into town and he wants to hang out with us. Wow. How old is he? 54. Wow. <laughs> That's almost like my dad's age. Well, this is what you need. A real man. <laughs> Oh, hey, sweetie, I was bringing you and Amber some cookies. Oh. I had an accident. I'm sorry. It's okay, Dad. Okay. Uh, thanks, sweetie. You're welcome. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Dad. New shorts? Oh, yeah, Amber, let me borrow them. Oh, Amber. Why, Dad? Oh, didn't we talk about this when you were younger? I know, Dad, but I want to fit in. She's like my first cool friend ever. Cool. That's you keep pushing and pushing to get older. You know, you will get older in due time when the time is right. This Amber, she seems to have different different beliefs than we do. She's a good girl. She gets good grades. She doesn't do any drugs. Like, come on, why do you hate on all of my friends? I don't hate on all your friends, you know, but since you've been spending time with Amber, you've been going through a lot of changes and a lot of changes very quickly. Now, I've always told you that boys, they appreciate a girl with a good personality. You could leave a little more to the imagination. Okay. Dad, things have changed these days. If I saw younger photos of you and mom and she dressed so revealing. Come on, we've talked about that. That was just a phase that she was going through. Well, I wanna have fun with this face. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, all right, I'll change the subject, okay? Uh, what are you doing this weekend? Hmm. Might go on a date with his boy from class. Oh. Hmm. So you are going out with him. What? You know? No, I, I mean, you're, you, you do have a date. That's what I meant. And thank you for letting me know. I'm surprised you told me. Yeah, I don't want to make things up, but it's not confirmed. Okay, sweetie. Well, thanks for keeping me in the loop. Hmm.
Hey, sweetie. Huh? Nice top. You all ready for your big date? Oh. Yeah, I'm not going. Not going? Huh? How come? Well, Amber's not answering her phone. Amber? What's Amber got to do with that? I thought you were going out with a boy from school. Oh. Well, I am. We we're just going to go on a double date. Look, you don't need Amber. Just go out with this boy. I don't know, Dad. I think I'm just going to chill at home. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, uh, movie date with Pops, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, stranger. Come on, are you mad at me? Come on. Well, you made me flake on James and then you flaked on me. This dude's cousin just came out and I guess by double deal, he just wanted to hang out with us. Well, you should have told me. I'm sorry, Emily. I'm not your boyfriend. Relax. I thought you'd understand. Okay. Sorry, Amber. Look, I'll make it up to you. I just have to run to my class right now, but I will tell you later about it. So, what I wanted to tell you about today, well, first, what do you think about or Or What? Would you ever be into this type of stuff? <laughs> oh my god, no way, Amber. I've never even been with a guy one-on-one. -on -one. You haven't? Well, no. I've been kind of wanting to save myself. Oh wow, that's really sweet and stupid. What do you mean? Look, my aunt and my own mother said enjoy it now. Because Mr. Perfect out there is out there baby his Thing around to everyone the best by. Oh my god. Seriously, whether your number is one or two hundred, do you think he's going to know the difference or care? I would think so. Girl, no. You can tell them one or two, it doesn't matter. Wow. Here's the thing. Scott's cousin, uh, the 50 years old dude, um, he invited us to something interesting at his mansion in Pacific Palisades. Wow, he has a mansion? Uh, yeah, he's some rich YouTuber. Anyways, this wasn't a normal kind of party. What was it? It's an art. Oh my god, so you went? No, but... But what? Well, I didn't want to go with Scott, so I made some excuse with my weak nonsense, but He's been messaging me on Instagram all week. Scott? No, Scott's cousin. Oh. And I want to go, but I don't want to go with Scott. Only because it's it's gonna be kind of awkward with my boyfriend being there and all. Oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to go alone. So you want me to go? Being Emily. Wow. Seriously? Yeah, are you down? I wanted to make it up to you for last weekend. This is a mansion. We got to wear a costume. Wow, like eyes wide shut. Uh, yeah, but we're hotter. <laughs> but do I have to do something? Um, that's on you. I'm not sure how it all works. Okay, I'm down. <sighs> uh, okay, I'll call you back. Dad, what the heck? Hey, sweetie. I'm sorry. I, uh, Are you uh, spying on me? No, I'm, I'm not spying. I'm just... Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I heard it all. And you are not going to an old young lady. Oh, my God. Dad, you are way too controlling. And now you're spying on me? I said I wasn't going to move into a dorm if I had my space. Go I'm to, moving out. Go to a dorm? You can't move out. You don't have any of your own money and your own space. I'm not going to give you enough space to go in an order ever. Never. You are not going to an These are not the values your mother and I raised you with. You're not going to an order. I don't want to talk, Dad. Are you forcing yourself inside? No. Oh, jeez. Oh.
Hey, man, what's going on? Are you Simpson? Yeah, yeah, that's me. How can I help you? I'm uh, Emily's dad. Um, I'm sorry, who? I, I don't have my glasses on right now. From church? Church? You go to church? Uh, uh, well, I'm even more surprised that you don't know who your, your daughter's best friend is, Emily. Amber? She has a best friend? Dude! <laughs> Yeah, your daughter Amber and my daughter Emily are very close. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't know that. You don't know what your daughter Amber's up to, right? Well, that, hey, that's great to hear. How's she doing? Okay, well, she's doing great in some people's eyes, but I have a little problem with her. What is it? She's been kind of a bad influence on my Emily, and I'd like you to discipline her. What's the problem? Well, she dresses very revealing. Well, I I'm sorry, sir. I don't seem to have those problems with Amber. Mr. Smithers, what are you doing here? I came to have a private conversation with your father. Okay. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Dad, don't stay in the way. God, I love her. What seems to be the problem? That. Look at that, right there. Look at that. What do you mean? Well, look at her. Her body is hanging out of her clothing. Her womanhood, right there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she, she gets that from her mama. Oh, okay, so I see what the problem is then. Hey man, you need to chill. You can't restrict your children that much. You gotta let them be their own creatures. My daughter is not a creature, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna take it parenting advice from you. Man, what do you mean by that? Your daughter invited my daughter to an what do you mean? Or O R D Y. Are you okay with that? Dude, you gotta relax. She'll be fine. It's her life. We believe in liberal values. Liberal values? Uh huh. Well, don't you think there should be some rules? You do things the way you want, sir, and I'll do things the way I want them. Yeah. Okay, well, that's how I know I just got under a liberal skin. They always start calling me sir. Sir, are you fine with your daughter going to a orgy? You know, it seems like you're kind of jealous they didn't invite you, man. What the hell do you mean by that? <laughs> you're lucky. My daughter just called. Good! I hope she sets you straight. What? Do you want to push all my buttons? Asshole. I hope they have a good time. You You went to Amber's parents' house? Yes, I did. So what? How did you even know where she lives? Well, I followed her. Oh my god, Dad, are you a stalker? Is that so much better? Were you the one that followed her the other night? A stalker? All of a sudden, I'm the bad guy? I did this for your benefit. I had to find out what they were like. He's some sort of a crazy hippie. She's a tart. They're not made like us. Dad, I'm done talking about this. I'm moving out like I said. Well, you're not going to any goddamn orgy. I can't deal with this nonsense anymore. Hey, I'm here to help you. Oh, hey, thank you. Jeez, now I can see why I'm moving out. Young lady, I want you out of this house immediately. You're not welcome here. Shut up, old man. What you say? Amber, you can't talk to my dad like that. He needs to hear that. He can't run over you like that. But <sighs> he's my dad. You know what I'm gonna do. You need to be disciplined. Oh my gosh. This should have been done years ago. What are you doing? Come. What are you doing? Stop. Just, oh my you know, gosh, stop. Right here. Oh right my here. gosh, stop. Right ouch, ouch. Oh my gosh, stop. What are you doing? You're not gonna ruin your own life and their beliefs too. Maybe this discipline will help you. I won't be. I won't anymore. I learned my lesson. Sorry, please stop. Jim disciplined Emily's friend Amber that day. Emily was proud of her dad and decided not to move out. Amber continued being Emily's friend but decided to dress more appropriate around Jim's house and was respectful to Emily and Jim after that. She also learned that she shouldn't try to grow up too quickly and enjoy her youth. Hey, I truly hope you enjoyed that video. If you could drop it a like and leave a comment, that would truly mean a lot to me. I love reading all of your comments and I love replying to as many as I can. Also, subscribe to this channel. 
big news. My baby started her own YouTube channel. Make sure to check out the link above over your ear, one of these places, to see her first episode. If you have a child yourself, they will truly have a lot of fun watching that video. Also, follow me on Instagram. I reply to all my messages on there as well.